ओके सो इन चैप्टर थ्री वी विल बी गोइंग थ्रू द मेथड ऑफ ऑर्डिनरी ली स्क्वेयर विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ओ एल एस सो टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस मेथड यू हैव टू फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वाई लीस्ट स्क्वेयर वाई एम आई गोइंग टू टेक स्क्वेयर एंड वॉट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड इट सो टू बिगिन द एक्सप्लेनेशन लेट्स ड्रॉ अ लीनियर रिग्रेशन मॉडल diagrammatically so this is my beta 1 hat why am i taking hat because now i'll be only dealing with samples i do not have my population at hand so i have y i is equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat x i plus u i hat this is the equation that i have so this is my x and corresponding to this x supposedly supposedly my y is here but supposedly this is y i hat which is nothing but e of y given x i so this was of the population and this y i hat is actually the corresponding part in the sample so now what are we doing is supposedly this is my actual y i then i know that this is my u i now the point is that if i have a few ui hat which are up and a few ui hat which are down if i sum this ui hat it is actually zero if this ui hat is zero then this means that i will not never ever be able to minimize this thing because the sum is always zero and if the sum is zero i cannot minimize that thing but i know that i would be as close my sample would be as close to the population only when error is minimum so i want to minimize my error but at the same time i am very clear with the concept that summation of the error terms is always zero so instead of taking sum of u i hat i would actually minimize summation u i hat square so one reason why i will minimize summation ui hat square is that summation ui hat is always zero other reason why i will minimize summation ui hat square and not summation ui hat is because of the following so supposedly one so i know that there would be different yi's corresponding to different yi's when i will find out the mean value this is the mean value that i have and then i would join all these mean values so supposedly for given x i this i have different y i's one y i is here one y i is here one y i is here and one y i is here for this y i say i name it as y4 my error is this big whereas for this y i let me name this as y1 my error is only this so i have huge errors and i have small errors if i find out summation u i i will be actually giving the same weight to all the errors if it is bigger or if it is smaller i'll be giving the same weight which is not correct so then instead of finding summation ui hat and minimizing this i would use summation ui hat square and minimize this so because i don't want to give equal weight to everything and if error is at a higher distance from this mean value it should be given a higher weight i will be actually finding summation ui hat square and minimizing that so therefore i will be using least square criteria so you can go through the book the book would be telling you that suppose if i have different errors 10 minus 2 2 and minus 10 i should not be giving the same way to all the errors and therefore i should actually be squaring it to give different errors different values different weights so hence least square is used